CCC Interim Secretary General seeks court intervention to bar recalled legislators from by-elections. In a dramatic turn of events, Senjizo Chibangu, the self-proclaimed Citizens Coalition for Change CCC Interim Secretary General, has taken legal action to assert control over party operations. Chibangu yesterday filed an urgent application with the High Court seeking to prevent recalled opposition legislators from participating in the upcoming by-elections on the CCC ticket. Earlier this month, the Nelson Chamisaled CCC registered all its recalled legislators and councillors as candidates for the by-elections. Simultaneously, Chibangu's candidates also successfully filed to contest on a CCC ticket. However, Chibanga now claims that the recalled candidates used fraudulently signed documents to file their nomination papers. According to Chibanga's lawyer, advocate Louis Uriri, as the party's interim secretary general, Chibanga holds the sole right to choose and endorse CCC candidates. The legality of the recalls is also being challenged by the CCC, with the High Court scheduled to hear the matter. Addressing journalists after submitting the court documents, advocate Uriri stated, These members were recalled by the party. The members challenged their recall by the party, and the High Court upheld the recalls, meaning they ceased to be members of Parliament because of the recall. The party that recalled them did not sign their nomination papers. Shibangu, through his lawyer in Kobani Sithole, asserted that the recalled candidates cannot run in the upcoming by-elections on behalf of the CCC since they are no longer members of the opposition party. In his latest court application, Shibanga seeks an order from the High Court instructing the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZC to remove all the recalled candidates nominated by Chamisa's faction from the ballot paper for the December 9th by-elections. This is an elementary case here. You can't have a situation where one is recalled and goes back to contest representing the same party that recalled him," Sithole emphasized. While Chibanga claims that Chamisa is still the leader of the CCC, Chamisa has distanced himself from Chibangu. The Chamisa-led CCC has further argued that the by-elections are illegitimate since the recalls were triggered by an alleged imposter and a proxy of the ruling ZANU-PF party. The candidates sponsored by Chibangu include notable figures such as Tenai Chituran Yafi Lobengula Magwe, James Sithole Bulawayo South, Bizamuzi Cherwa Cowdray Park, Charles Moyon Papomam Zilakatsi, Ambrose Sabindi Kita, Judith Sabanda Binga North, Davis Nyafi Lapain East, and Blessing Kini by Bridge West. However, there have been some peculiarities in Chibangu's candidate selection. He did not provide a candidate for Mabvu Katafara, and in Bite Bridge West, his chosen candidate, Blessing Kini, withdrew his candidacy, stating that he was not consulted prior to his name being submitted to the nomination court. In Mabvu Katafara, the race will primarily be between ZANU PF's Pedzisai, Scott Sakapwanya, and the CCC candidate Muniradzi Fibian Kufahakatizwi. Within Bulawayo, the Chamisa-led CCC has put forward candidates such as Jane Nicola Watson for Bulawayo South, Pasha Rafael Sabanda for Cowdray Park, Eric Gono for Lobengula Magwek, Desmond Mikaza from Papomam Zilakatsi, and Obert Manduna for Nkita Constituency in Matabililand North Province. The Chamisa-led CCC will be represented by Prince Dabiko Sabanda in Binga North, Bright Vanya Moyo in Lapain East, and Morgan Cube in Bite Bridge West. Observers, including ZANU PF, have pointed out that the chaos within Chamisa's camp stems from his failure to hold an elective Congress to select substantive office bearers. As the legal battle unfolds in the High Court, the outcome will determine the fate of the recalled legislators and shape the upcoming by elections in Zimbabwe.